हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी शेल बी डिस्कसिंग वन इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म विलो द वेस्ट इन डेली केमिस्ट्री डोज सो लेट अस सी हाउ इट कैन बी आस्ड इन द पेपर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग गैस कैन बी एक्टिंग कैन एक्ट एज और विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग गैस इज एसोसिएटेड विद द टर्म कॉल्ड विलो द वेस्ट so this is the term velo the best so directly it is a factual question now let us understand what exactly it is this particular term velo the wisp is also being used in english at times as i dom where it simply would mean that something which is impossible to achieve or to get or when you are striving something striving very hard for something and you are feeling that it is not achievable we use this type of a phrase just like trying to catch if lightning in a bottle which is next to impossible you cannot catch lightning in a bottle so this is where a bit of english also have came today in today's session so you also would remember that willow the wisp could also be used in english now in chemistry how is it being used it is all together used for the phosphine gas which you have done in p block in 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 phosphorus family so what where and how it is being used firstly let me tell you that this particular gas phosphine is colorless toxic and it's having a dirty rotten fish like smell violently could could ex, uh, explode when come in contact with some oxidizing agent like nitric acid or fumes of chlorine or bromine it violently explode explodes this particular gas which we call it as phosphine and the other part of the phosphine is that it has a unique property that as and when it is exposed in air uh, it can spontaneously catch fire due to the presence of it catches fire spontaneously due to the presence of some impurities of p2h4 or at times it also would contain some vapors of phosphorus so this uh, this phosphine catches fire because of that fact and this flickering light which is being produced is called as velo the wisp and uh, i could tell you that in some um, european countries and in australia in 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 some areas of australia where you have a lot of marshy areas and the rocks are containing good amount of phosphorus in form of calcium phosphide or directly p4 as solid there this underwent hydrolysis calcium phosphide undergoes hydrolysis to produce phosphine and this phosphine because the marshy area also contains methane or other hydrocarbons it catches fire and as a consequence of that fire that this appear this catches fire in the air and in the air it it gives a balls of fire and which at times is referred to as some ghost type of a thing happening in nature so actually it is phosphine along with some uh, hydrocarbons produced in the marshy area from the rocks of uh, rocks containing calcium phosphide so that is what and this fluorescent light which is being produced as i have written here fluorescent light seen in the floating seen floating on the marshy grounds due to the combustion in air is also called as willow the wisp now how this calcium phosphide which may be present in rocks at times in some areas in the world which is containing phosphorus they underwent hydrolysis to produce phosphine and this phosphine catches fire and at times it also is being seen that this particular reaction the second reaction is very important from competition point of view that it is a disproportionation reaction this is very very important from competition point of view where n factor for or n factor of phosphorus may be asked in this particular question so this has already been referred in this particular video so you can go through this this is in zero oxidation state minus 3 and plus 1 so a little bit of storytelling and theory of inorganic would mix up get mixed up with the conceptual aspect where disproportionation reactions n factor can be asked so this way you can remember the things for a longer duration of time and one more thing i can tell you here that this particular gas is also associated with a term called as home signal so this also is a very important term which is being used along with that that when in the sea in the sea when some ship underwent some sort of a distress or a ship if i say this has to be ship which is under some distress or it has in old days it has some some uh, for uh, it it lost its path from the original direction then they start throwing out into the water the boxes of boxes having a opening boxes containing 
calcium carbide and calcium phosphide calcium phosphide these two ingredients these would undergo hydrolysis this already has been written calcium carbide also react with water to form calcium hydroxide and acetylene and acetylene being a hydrocarbon can catch fire so so what would happen is that when any ship is under distress it throws out or the people from here throws out the packets of or the boxes of calcium carbide and phosphide produces phosphine when reaction when underwent reaction with water and this produces acetylene when reaction with water so the this particular two things then catches fire and this fire can be seen from the distance place so once this act or this used to serve as an uh, signal in old days nowadays there is altogether satellite communication happening and if you have ever seen a uh, english movie titanic in that also that sort of thing is there some scenes are there where they tend to throw out these uh, uh, boxes and the water catches fire so this fire then act as a signal for distant uh, coming ships that this particular ship is under distress or it has lost or path or it is just sinking so i hope you have understood today's uh, session where we have discussed what is home signal home signal and also we have discussed willow the wisp willow the wisp and along with it we also have learnt a bit of english also in today's session that how that phrase can be used as willow the wisp thanks a lot have a nice day and stay safe and stay connected hope you have enjoyed today's session a little bit of storytelling within organic will make it more interesting and it would 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 retain it would increase the assimilation as well as retention of a child thanks a lot have a nice day